Hello everybody, it's a science lesson today, so I'm gonna need these. We're gonna discover what is the best kind of material or mixture of materials that you can wear for a base layer, t-shirt, that sort of thing on your Camino. We're gonna discover of all the trekking fabrics, what are they good at? Should I take Merino with me? Should I take a synthetic polyester with me? Should I take silk? Should I take cotton? It's one thing saying polyester, but what's Polartec Power Dry? or phase or motive fabric and what about silver dirt polygene um, cocona ah i'm going to talk about all the things that make a fabric good or not so good uh, and how good they are when they're mixed together so that you can make a decision what takes up that precious weight in your backpack are you ready to find out let's find out Well, pretty much all of the items that you're going to want to take with you have got between 50 and 100% of these fabrics in. I'm going to talk through each kind of fabric in turn. I'm going to score it in eight of the important categories and see if we can come up with a winner. Well, we're starting with Merino as it's probably the most loved by pilgrims, mostly by reputation. As you can see by three of my favourite shirts, a lot of Merino shirts, socks, underwear are a hybrid mixed with other fabrics to add other qualities. Once you've watched all three mini episodes in this series, you'll better understand why and how they complement each other. Merino is average when it comes to fast drying and fabric weight, not the worst and not the best either, but durability is a big reason why brands choose to make a hybrid. 100% Merino can misshape from washing, rip and pull on bushes and lacks the strength to be woven into more advanced and technical ways on its own. Average again at wicking moisture away from your body. Unfortunately, it scores two out of five because it can absorb and hold on to 33% of its weight in water, which can make it heavier and look sweaty at the top of that hill. Great news is though that it's amazing at keeping you warm when wet. That's handy in Galicia. A very respectable four out of five for breathability in its natural state. If it makes you sweat less, there's less wicking and drying to worry about. Merino shines though in stinky resist, naturally resisting bacteria which attaches to proteins within sweat and makes smells. It can go days without a wash and it never goes past the stinky point of no return like some other fabrics can. 27 points then from 100% Merino, awesome for temperature and smell control, it breathes well, it's not bad at wicking and quick drying, the weight's okay, has disadvantages though if it gets too wet and it lacks the durability to really take advantage of modern weaving technology. Episode 2 is going to cover most of the clever synthetics and treatments. When it's finished and uploaded, there's going to be a link on screen for you in a few seconds. Make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell anyway though so you're notified when I release any new content. Thanks for watching everybody and buen camino!